In this video, we will have a look uh, at the assignment of handles in uh, Elements CAD for Vector Works. Here we see already a cabinet, and uh, here I can go to Configure Cabinet. And uh, here we have the top front where we can select uh, several handles. After the selection, I can assign it to the respective segment and confirm is OK. We have in the um, um, design para in the draft parameters um, several options. We can here for example define the fixing. For example we want uh, the fixing at the right side. I uh, insert an R and uh, now this R is uh, uh, replaced through an arrow. Uh, and furthermore, I can uh, change the rotation here. Um, on the other hand, I can do the same in the configuration and here I see uh, the alternative. I can as well do this with a click uh, in, uh, at the button and uh, furthermore, I can define here, when you take a look at the help, you see that on the left side I can change the horizontal position, whereas at the right side I change the uh, vertical position. So I can change here the, the middle uh, position and uh, furthermore when I click uh, um, once again I can leave the handle so on the left side I have a further uh, additional option. I can uh, make uh, left, right, middle, but I can assign as well two handles. And uh, the rotation I can define um, with the parameter angle. Then I can say here 90 degrees or 0 degrees. So let's repeat it. When I make an L sign, I can uh, change to left or uh, right side. Um, um, but I have to uh, take care that I'm in the correct segment because here I'm in the drawer segment and here uh, it's always in the middle. But what I can do in the drawer segment, I can um, define an M for middle. Uh, so now it's uh, um, defined in the middle and from uh, this fixed point uh, I can uh, change the position as well when um, I am uh, there and I can say okay this is the second segment and I want it really in the middle and uh, without any offset then I have the exact center. But in the door segment I see in the base segment I can make uh, an L and uh, now the position is exchanged and now I see that here I have uh, an R for right position. So uh, this uh, letter always changes. Now I have a left position and uh, I can say uh, it is in the middle as well um, or it is uh, uh, at the uh, bottom. Let's make a further example. Uh, um, we have um, the option in the elements infos uh, to um, define um, 45 degrees uh, bevela and uh, here I can select for example the plane door and uh, I go to the right side and I can define an offset of 19 millimeters, assign it and now you see that the edge now is 45 degrees and uh, I can say as well in the respective segment um, N for no handle. You see it when I make the in when I enlarge the info palette then this N is a sign. Furthermore, you can 
uh, go to the online help uh, in order to see more details uh, for the cabinet maker. Now I go back again to the cabinet configuration and here I have uh, automatic configuration for cutouts for handlebars. In uh, this dialog I can define the distance between the segments, I can define uh, the profile, I confirm is OK and now you see that the respective, uh, respective bars and the cutouts are generated. When I go back to the uh, dialog I see here a uh, tab cutout and in this um, tab the corrections took place. Here we see the section that was done and the respective uh, standalone part, the bar, and uh, this is the second one. So here I can make changes of course afterwards as well and um, this is a very uh, powerful uh, feature because you can uh, make cutouts everywhere. When I go back to the um, elements infos to the uh, Beaver section, we uh, activated the plane door and we had there at the right side uh, the manufacturing and I can define here an offset and I can say minus 15 for example and uh, uh, confirm is OK. And now you see that um, the bevel is smaller. You can see it here as well. Uh, depending on the value, uh, I can define, for example, a lower value and uh, go to the right side again and say minus uh, 5 and assign it and here we go. A further nice example we have uh, in the uh, next layer I go again to configure cabinet and uh, here I can assign as well um, a profile. I can define it myself, um, a profile. It's a very simple 2D object I will show you later and I assign it, confirm is OK and now you see that there's a profile assigned. So you can uh, easily change the profile. It's a, a very simple 2D object. You can go to edit and you see it's a simple polygon. Um, furthermore, I can change the direction when I go to zero degrees. Then I have it at the top and uh, wherever I change uh, the dimensions of the cabinet the profiles will be assigned. So I can uh, for example define a new segment, I copy the lower segment and uh, now maybe I want to have uh, the assignment somewhere else and I go to the segment and now I want the fixing at the top and you see then the handle is um, or the profile is at the counterpart. Let's make a further example. Of course I can uh, define uh, another value for the uh, rotation uh, but uh, I want to define um, a, a plain um, cabinet front and I um, eliminate the next segment. Uh, now we want to make a sliding door cabinet and I make let's say 
thousand millimeters and the height as well uh, thousand millimeters and uh, here I have a pre-configuration so I can make a, a double click or go to configure cabinet go to configuration and make a sliding door pre-configuration with two doors and um, I want um, the button continuous it's all the same but here I can as well uh, sign a handle can uh, use for example uh, this handler it's as well a 2D um, uh, symbol confirm is ok and uh, now you see the result let's make a height from uh, 800 for example we can assign here uh, let's say two shelves and uh, now I want to uh, configure the opening and I can say here let's say 50% and uh, now you can show the opening in elements cat you have always the option to separate the objects and same goes for the handles so I can separate the handles and uh, uh, split them as extrude uh, confirm this ok and uh, then you have uh, the separated handles and uh, you can now um, yes uh, move them change them uh, do whatever you you like uh, because it's a, s a separated 3d symbol and uh, now you can uh, change the um, the behavior the color uh, the height the position etc Um, when I undo everything then uh, but you see the initial cabinet is untouched so you always can uh, make changes with the cabinet uh, without uh, affecting um, the handles and uh, they can be modified separately